Hey, hey, Sabrina. Hey, Sabrina. Hi there. How are y'all? Good. Good. Got that little accent. Hey, y'all. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, just a little. <laughs> so I won't. I know you're. Um, you've been booked full today, but um, so I won't take too much of your time. But thank you. You know, first of all, thank you so much for taking the time to to speak with me. I really appreciate it. Oh, our pleasure. Thanks yeah. for having us on. Right. Yeah, of course. Um, so, of course, my first question is, um, what does psoriasis mean, you know, what does having it mean to you? And, and this may be, I don't know if you've gotten this at a lot, but um, I try to always put a positive spin. So my first question would be, what does it mean to you? And what's been the best part about having psoriasis? <laughs> Well, I, I, what it means to me, well, most people know me as an Olympian or a mother or a TV host. They don't realize that I'm one of seven and a half million Americans who has psoriasis. And so mm -hmm. uh, a couple of decades ago, I was training for the 92 Olympics, and uh, I realized that I had red flaky patches on my elbows and my back. So after about a month of having it, I, I went to my doctor and my dermatologist, and he diagnosed me with psoriasis. And one thing I learned early on is, is the fact that my business suit at work is a swimsuit. Uh, I shouldn't be embarrassed about how I look, and I shouldn't be embarrassed uh, you know, when I dive in the water and people thinking that they're going to get this because I have it on my elbows and back. And so the one great thing that's come out of this is that I'm able to team with Otesla and Celgene and talk about the Show More of You uh, campaign, that it's okay to be who you are in your own skin even though you have psoriasis. So it's, it's really been a rewarding experience for me so far. I love that. And a lot of people just don't find the positive spin in having psoriasis. So I love that you said it's okay to be yourself even though you have this. Well, thank you. Yeah, I, I mean, I really think it is. And, and one thing that this campaign has is a website at showmoreofyou.com. And it's so wonderful because I've uploaded a picture of showing more of myself and to be proud of myself. And I've written an inspirational message. And others have gone on there and do that. And we're hoping that on this website, those with psoriasis can go on take pictures, show us yourself, and write an inspirational message. And, and we also want people who don't have psoriasis to go on there to learn about what psoriasis is and to know that you can still reach your achievements even though you're living with this condition. I like that. Um, now, what, what scared you the most when you were first diagnosed, and how did you push past that? I think for me, the scariest thing was the fact that people think that they're going to get it because I have it on my skin, that it's contagious. And so if anyone did ask me, which not a lot of people did, but there were a couple that would ask me, or you get a look every now and then when they see my elbows, um, they basically would sort of give me this look and I would go over there because I knew exactly what they were thinking and say, hey, look, this is not contagious. You don't have to worry. This is something that I have and I'm dealing with, but you're not going to get it if you touch me. Yeah. I know I've gotten to a point now where I'm like, I want people to ask me about it because there just right. isn't a lot of awareness about it. So I'm like, just ask me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, Dr. Catherine could probably talk about that because she right. has lots of patients who have it. Yeah, I'm in Dallas, Texas, and so we have a psoriasis specialty clinic up there. So oh, okay. I think that I think a lot of people um, don't realize it's a pretty prevalent disease. So it's like two to three mm -hmm. percent of the U.S. population. As she was saying, there's seven and a half million people in the U.S. with this, and it's visible. Um, but there's also invisible things, right? Because it can mm -hmm. hurt, it can itch, and and that you can have psoriatic arthritis. So I think partnering with a with a doctor is a good idea. Having mm -hmm. a great role model mm -hmm. is a great idea, and um, trying to control what you can control, you know. And and yeah. so I really hope that people realize that we care about psoriasis. There's therapies that will help you and um, that I really want you to reach your potential because that's that's what life is all about. I like that. That's great. Um, now, Dara, in your book, uh, The Age is Just a Number, you talk a lot about working through pain and uncertainty, and I love that because it, it correlates you know, with psoriasis because there's so much pain and uncertainty with the disease. So what would be your best piece of advice for someone either who's just been diagnosed or maybe experiencing a flare-up? To kind of push past that. I think the biggest thing is that you're not alone. Uh, like we've mentioned twice, it's, there's over seven and a half million Americans that have this disease. So uh, you're not alone. There are other people going through it. And that's why this website, like I said before, is so wonderful because other people's inspirational stories on there. And you just have to stay inspired and realize that you can reach your achievements even though you're dealing with this condition. Um, now, before going to Rio, you um, you bring other swimmers, and you talked about setting goals and kind of how to 
how to have a balanced and healthy life. How can people with psoriasis set the same goals and kind of take control of their lives? Well, I actually, I think I'll have Dr. Cather answer that because I think my, okay. there are so many different people that have psoriasis and all different kinds that she, she mm -hmm. might have a better understanding with her yeah. patients. Okay. So I think first quantitating your disease and, and trying to figure out um, what you need. And so certainly there are over-the-counter creams that you can get. Um, additionally, if you go to a dermatologist, um, there's a lot of new therapies out. So there's prescription creams, there are pills, there are injectables, there are infusions. One of the newer uh, medicines in the marketplace is Otesla or a Primalast. It's a pill for moderate severe plaque psoriasis. And, um, and it does not require any routine monitoring. So I think trying to figure out what your disease requires is a personal thing. Finding a dermatologist who will partner with you and help you through your journey is your next part. And then really uh, learning from you about the healthy lifestyles and you, know, you can't control genetics, but what can you control? You're healthy, you're eating well, you're sleeping well, all that stuff. It's a big picture, right? It's right. a whole life mm -hmm. picture. And that's where this is so exciting because she is awesome at that. <laughs> <laughs> I paid her I well. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, now, from a stress perspective, Dara, what, how has, um, you know, as opposed to training for the Olympics and maybe and mentoring others before going to the Olympics, how have you noticed a difference with your psoriasis and the presence of it, or you know, has it stayed the same? You know, what have you noticed? Well, I've noticed that it definitely flares up when I'm stressed out, and I'm okay during training and in the heavy-duty peaks of, of my training, but it's when it gets closer to the swim meet, especially a big meet like World Championships or the Olympic Games is when it really flares up. And uh, it took me a little while, to a few years, to understand that that's why I'm getting it is under stress. And even now that I've, I've retired from the sport four years ago mm -hmm. after my last Olympic trials, I still have daily stresses. I have my kids and work mm -hmm. and travel, and there's so much stuff going on in my life. It just is never ending. And uh, you have to learn how to uh, deal with your stress. And like Dr. Cather mentioned, uh, you know, living a healthy lifestyle. And so for me to de-stress, I like to work out. Definitely. Um, okay, and uh, last question. What is something that you know about having psoriasis now that you wish you knew when you were first diagnosed? Um, you know, I, I think I didn't realize how many people had it. And that's what I love about this website is they're really just letting one, everyone go on there and, and talk about their psoriasis. And I think uh, at the beginning, you know, people start to cover up because they're embarrassed that they have it. And the fact that now it's so out there and they have a psoriasis month that, that people can be okay with being comfortable in their own skin even though they're dealing with this condition. I, that is great. I love that. <laughs> I really, really appreciate y'all taking the time. Thank you. Yeah, of course. Thank y'all so much. Have a great day. Bye. Y'all too. Bye.